So I wanted to talk a little bit about poly economy, you know, how to keep the polys down. And I thought this was a pretty good example, both, both of these uh, parts of the gear here. So I'm going to go ahead and just solo this piece here. And so we'll get a quick count. What, what do we have around here as far as, as, far as polys? So we got 18, 18 uh, quads, which is going to be you know, um, 36, 36 tries. Um, so we could take this top here. If this was a solid piece, each one of these pieces here could lead to the very center and be a triangle. But instead, since it's, it's attached to this here, that turns that into uh, a quad. So we're effectively uh, doubling on each side of this cylinder here. Each side of this collar is double the number of what's going around here. So one thing we could do is just to select these rings around me. There we go. I'll select all these rings here, all the ones that are easily done anyways. And I'm just doing that by hitting control, uh, I mean clicking on uh, control and clicking on the poly to get it selected and then holding shift and hovering and then clicking. That gives me the whole thing. And looks like we could do this one too. Control click, shift, hold. Okay, so just by we're gonna look at our count here. Right now we have 968 tries making up this one piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And we're down to 716, but it's it's not really it's not really what we're looking for, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab this border tool and I'll just select across all of these. I probably should select in this direction. Okay, and that's going to select all of my openings here. <clears throat> and I'm going to actually want to deselect the top of these or the, the actual inner cylinders. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. and all of that. Okay, good. So now if I just hit cap, we go to 828. And at 828, we really don't have, we, I mean, we've, we've lost a, uh, what, close to 100 polys by doing that. Um, there's another one here I missed. We can do this one here too. So I'll just select here and we will delete that and then like this and cap it. So now we can connect all of these up if we wanted to, but we can look at the triangulation that 3ds Max has done. And it always triangulates in this way where it connects every every other vert and then it's it selects the next try from skipping a couple. And let's see what we what we end up with now. Now remember let's see let, let's let's do that again. Let's let's remember what we have as a Oops. Let's remember what we have here as a account. It's 36 around the outside. So if I was to, if I was to have had a single point here, and each one of these led to that point, making a pie piece, it should equal 36 triangles around the uh, around the inside. But if I click here, it's actually 16. Uh, because the way that that's triangulated, uh, it's it's even less. It's it's half again. So in just that simple move, we've taken this part. Um, I'm not sure why my numbers jumped here. Well, 808, 808 down from nine high nines, almost at the so you know 100 polys in this one part. Uh, it's nothing to sneeze at, and it doesn't change anything, anything about the model. So, I'll bring everything back here. Now I can jump over here and do the same thing to this guy. Imagine I got four, four of these pieces. Um, it's a good way to save a lot, of tri a lot of triangles. So, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these inner parts, like 
like so. Okay. And also, I don't think this, this part here is useful. So we're going to also delete that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete key. Delete key. Do, do, do. And we'll click the border tool and select all these outer borders. Like so. We're only going to select the largest ones. Like so. And we'll cap it. And this part's down to 706 tries. Just that easy, getting rid of these caps, making these solid, and going with the uh, triangulation that um, that 3ds Max gives us by default. So I'm gonna unisolate that part. So again, let's look at the difference here. Let's like this part, uh, 912 here to this part here, 808. Really close, anyways. 200 polys. 706 on this part, and we turn this down. This one, yeah, so from 860 down to 706, and that's just in these parts. Um, I could also take this part, and the the insides of this are not are not gonna, they're not ever gonna show in, in the sim, so we'll just delete those out. And we gain this many, this many polys again. So any, anywhere you can, you uh, you want to just go ahead and delete those those ends of those cylinders because there's a lot of polys there. So you know I can continue to do that here with with this part here, and they're just kind of all over the place. You you just really have to look for them. I uh, earlier I had I had made these separate little cubes out of this spot of the dashboard. And uh, since there was little connections here, the polys on this surface leading to this were adding up to quite a bit. So I separated these these buttons here by uh, just selecting the tops and hitting grow, and then I and then I uh, detached them from the part, and then I just I deleted all these extra polys and just filled in one single quad right here instead of all the polys that took it up. So there's actually quite a bit of quite a bit of savings if you do it that way so just thought I'd share that real quick